movie is the 1999 adaptation of the cult classic, The Mummy. Uh, this version stars Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. Uh, it's one of my favorite films uh, because even though it's 21 years old, it holds up incredibly well to other action-adventure movies that have come out today. The reason being is because there wasn't a whole lot of CGI done in the movie, and what was done was just for enhancements to make things look about as natural as they could. Um, a good example of this is during one scene where all the characters are being chased by a swarm of locusts. Uh, there were real locusts used, being used during the scene, but since they could only use so many, they added a, a few more to just beef it up to make it a little bit more threatening uh, with CGI. Um, but one of the biggest ways this movie still holds up today is because almost all of the stunts are done by their actors. Um, this is especially true with Brendan Fraser. Um, the man is notorious for wanting to do as best as he can, and as, as a result, he kind of messed up his body a lot filming the, mum the Mummy movies. Um, but he's still around. He's still doing great. Um, anyway, another reason why this is my favorite movie is because the writing is actually astronomically good. It's well-paced uh, and has good comedic bits to lighten up the more serious aspects of it. Um, an example of this is when the titular mummy is first introduced. It's pretty scary. Everybody's running around trying to find somewhere to hide while this horrifying creature is slowly lumbering after them. And when the mummy confronts um, Rachel Weiss's character, Evelyn, Brendan Fraser's character, Rick, chases after them. And it try he comes in and he tries to scare off the mummy by yelling in its face. And then he shoots and runs. And it's hilarious. Um, speaking of Evelyn, she's a very interesting character. Um, she has a lot of attitude and spunk, but she's not afraid to do what's right. And one of my favorite scenes is, um, during a shootout sequence on a boat, uh, where, uh, Fraser's character is loading up his gun, and... Weiss's character just drags him along as where his head was is getting shot. And it's it's perfect. It's funny. It show, it It's everything... It encapsulates what uh, a bit to love about the movie. Um, the character of Evelyn is a librarian, and she has a burning curiosity, and it shows through just how much knowledge she has... She's absorbed about the... Um, the entire setting around them. Um, there's a really important line uh, that shows what Stephen Summers, the director, uh, thought of women. Because at the time, it was a little bit, um... What's the word? Sexist? Sexist. Uh, two characters are talking, and one mentions how Evelyn and her group are off to the side, wondering if they know something that they don't. The other character replies with, they're led by a woman. What, is, what do women know? And then Summers directly cuts to Evelyn giving off valuable information, like a ton of it, to their group, and it's thanks to her that they just find everything. Um, it's, it's little things like this that make me love the movie. Uh, there are a lot of... There's a lot to love about it. Um... And the thing is, it's even accurate to, with pronunciation and everything from the Egyptian language. Uh, they actually had a group of Egyptologists on set to make sure that everything they talked about and all the names and everything were accurate and accurately pronounced. Uh, they also had translators on set, so when the actress had to speak in Egyptian, they sounded as authentic as possible. There's really a lot to love about the movie, and I really can't recommend it enough. It's on Netflix. We're in quarantine.